Time for some shameless self-promotion. My merchandise store has just gone live and the designs are awesome. They're by far the coolest designs that I've ever had. I'm so, so happy with how everything has come together here. They're available for a limited time only, so if you're interested, check it out. A link will be down in the description. And now on with the Hermitcraft weirdness. I've been looking at my base and it looks really, really cool. It's something that I'm incredibly proud of, especially with the work that we did in the previous Hermitcraft episode, adding in all of the custom trees, all of the pathways, connecting up all of the houses, even adding in this rope bridge in the center here, which is going to get some minor adjustments. But regardless, I think all all of it comes together to make a really, really beautiful location. I am, I'm so pleased. Okay, you've heard me say this. All right, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much. I am not a back patter of a person. It causes me physical pain. I, I much prefer to default to hating everything that I do, but I can't help but feel a tiny pang of pride when it comes to looking at this build because it is so far outside of the things that I normally construct in Minecraft. And that is where the fear comes in. I've been flying around this thing for the past couple of days, just observing it, checking it out, seeing what I would really like to do with it. And I do feel like it's missing something. It's missing something up at the top. Now, as much as I like the idea of adding all of the houses up at the top here and having the city up there, I do, I just feel like it needs something a little bit bigger and a little bit different from the town. And after doing a lot of thinking and a lot of researching, I think the thing that deserves to go on the top there is some form of statue or temple. Has the moon got even bigger? I feel like the moon's got even bigger. I'm trying to be serious here. I'm trying to talk about builds and things, but this is almost offensively large. Maybe it's because I haven't thrown enough diamonds into the bottom hole just yet. All right, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I was trying so hard not to make this intro weird, and yet here I am. But I guess while we are being weird, Pearl called me Mumboink, and I find that far too funny to not mention it. Anyway, back to the serious stuff. For those of you who have been watching since the start of Hermitcraft Season 8, you might remember this render right here that was created by Thibaut Simar, who is an incredibly talented voxel-based artist. I'll put all of their details down in the description because their work is fantastic. And you might remember this because I actually used it as a reference for creating elements of the terraforming of my base. Now, when I was doing some research on the statues and temples that I wanted to construct, this piece of artwork kept coming up and I loved it. I absolutely loved it, and lo and behold, it was created by the same guy. <laughs> so, thank you, Tibo, for creating fantastic things that are hugely inspiring. And this, this sort of look, is what I want to achieve with the structure on the top of my mountain. So, let's get to work. First things first, all of these red boxes need to go, and I'm just realizing I'm doing this in the stupidest way possible, aren't I? Which is to be expected because I'm the person doing it. This is taking far longer than you would think it would take to just remove some red blocks. How many of these things did I create? Now that they're gone though, this whole build is looking way better. It looks so much more finished. Maybe I don't need the gigantic temple on top of it. Maybe I can just end my base building here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya. Uh, of course, I'm joking. So now it's time to actually build this thing. I've been doing some playing around in a testing world and I have some rough ideas of what I want this thing to look like. Those rough ideas took me forever. I'm so glad I did them in creative mode first before doing them in survival because that would have been an absolute nightmare. Like there would have been a puddle of tears around my office chair. That's how much of a nightmare it would have been. But I think I have a good idea of how I want this thing to look. So we now need to gather up some resources. Some serious, serious resources. Can we not just do Hermitcraft Season 9 in creative mode? Just a full creative mode season? On second thoughts, let's definitely not do that. Resource gathering is all part of the fun of playing in survival. I'm having so much fun right now. This might just be the most fun I've ever had. Okay, I actually am having fun here because these are an absolute bargain. Two diamonds per stack, they're cheaper than the other types of wood, the wren cells. Sounds like you really should buy at Bottom. I've just been saying it because I had to. I'm back to having fun again. Oh boy, am I having fun. I have two boxes of fun right here, and I imagine for this project, it's going to be about five fun boxes in total. A ton of fun later. I now have all of this, which I'm hoping should sort of be enough. I mean, it's kind of difficult to know. I'm making some real big guesstimates here. One thing that I definitely have enough of is Oreos. I've got two packs and I want to eat them while I'm building this, which means I'm not going to be talking very much, so I'm going to do a time lapse. And I really hope that I don't forget to mute the audio on this time lapse because otherwise it's going to be hyper speed munching. I'm not 100% certain what that would sound like, but whatever it sounds like, I don't want to hear it. The packet is open. Let's get this project started. And man, was this an incredibly fun project to work on. I absolutely love this project because this is such a clear example of inspiration just fully taking hold and like engulfing my brain because you know i was doing the research i saw a few of those images and i was like that 
is the vibe that I want to create. I went into a creative mode testing world. I built up some like experiments and things and I was like, I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm ready to take this over into the survival world. And then as I was piecing those things together in the time lapse, I was like, oh my goodness, this is actually working. And it's, it's now here. It's now done. It's on top of my base that I'm already really proud of. And I'm just like, yes. It's all come together. I can't believe it's all come together. You know, it's just... Oh, it's such a good feeling. You know, it's not quite as good as the feeling as when a redstone contraption works first time when you weren't expecting it to. You know, redstone's still got that on building for me. But this is pretty close. This feels pretty close. As you can probably tell, I'm giddy with excitement right now. It is now the next morning and I'm still giddy with excitement. I am still... <laughs> this is so cool! It's the Peace, Love and Plants monument. The Temple of Peace, Love and Plants. It's just... Oh, it's... Oh. I feel bad because of this entirety. Like, literally this whole Hermitcraft episode. I've just done nothing but congratulate myself and blow my own trumpet. But I feel like I have... Look! Look at this guy! <laughs> I want to be friends with him. I, I do, I want to be friends with him. Will you be my friend? And the thing that this has really helped to do is improve the look of my base from down in the Bowton Village because that's one thing that I didn't really have. You know, all of the houses are to be viewed when you're flying around and they're not really that visible when you're down at the bottom here, but this guy, this guy is 100% visible. If anyone wants to think of a name for him, I would love to hear it. Please put them down in the comment section. I'm I'm excited to hear what you come up with here. There were far too many here's in that sentence there. Yes, the sun is about to go down. I am curious to see what this thing looks like in full darkness with our little hill being illuminated as well with the, the mountain and the houses being illuminated. I think it could look quite cool. I do need to do a little bit more lighting up of, I guess, the face and things, but his heart should be bright. His arms should also be bright and his hat should be bright as well because of the shroom lights. So there should be, there should be some cool tones going on. Does the sun always take this long to go down? I feel like a kid at Christmas. Well, I guess while we wait, we can talk about my new merchandise store. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've done enough shameless self-promotion for one day. The link is down in the description. Impulse's base is so big that I actually can't see the sun setting, but I, I think it is. Oh, yeah. And here rises Beetlejuice. This looks even cooler than I thought it would. It looks even cooler than I thought it would. Right, I've got to move on from this because otherwise the whole episode is me going to be talking about how great I am. And that isn't exactly very entertaining for everyone. I made an entire video dedicated to how I hate everything that I create. This is very out of character for me. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Right, that's it. I need to find something that will clear my mind. Hatching a plan to steal Grian's soul. That should probably do the trick. For anyone who hasn't been keeping up with the Hermitcraft series, recently I turned myself into a carrot and now... I've turned myself into a pig. It turns out that, well, if I eat something new, I, I turn into it. And I, I would quite like to be human again. As much as it was fun being a potato, and it was pretty hilarious being a carrot, and slightly strange being a pig, I feel like being a human would probably be quite nice. And in the previous Hermitcraft episode, I actually got Grin to sign away his soul while rating my trees. And I would show you that contract if I could find it. How could I lose the contract to someone's soul? This is quite an important thing. How have I lost it? I seriously just left it out in this chest over here. I mean, what on earth? Evil does not come naturally to me. Anyway, it's all well and good. But then if you go over to page 20, there's a small amount of small print. And that means that he has technically, by signing it, given me permission to take his soul. I mean, look, he's basically signifying it with his signature. <laughs> if there was ever a soul giving signature, this would be the one! Now to take Green's soul, I still don't want to actively kill him because I don't want that on my statistics, so I am going to create a little room that will. And it seemed like a good idea to put it in the peace treaty room because killing the person that you have a peace treaty with in the room where you've signed the peace treaty is hilarious to me. Oh my goodness, that was close. I, I probably shouldn't have admitted guilt there. That was- that was a wrong move. That was a guilty move. Thankfully, it seems like Green isn't quite onto us just yet. So despite some close shaves, I now have the full area all cleared out. This should hopefully be enough space to create my soul extraction chamber. So step number one is to create a flush piston trap door that is going to drop Green down into the chamber. This has not got off to a good start. <laughs> I think pretty much every single thing that could have gone wrong then went wrong. That was amazing. Right, we have some pretty old school redstone action going on here, but it should all be functional and that that is looking lethal okay so green is going to be standing on top of these blocks right here 
and then we will open up the trap door and he will drop through. Nice and easy. Stage one is all complete. Stage number two is designing a room that looks like the sort of room that you would lose your soul in. Now I would look up some references on Google, but I feel like that would definitely put me in some databases that I don't want to be a part of. So off the top of my head, this is what I've come up with and I can feel my soul already itching to leave my body, which I think is a good sign. So Graham will be on this side of the glass. I will be on this side of the glass. And now he's going to have a decision to make. And I spent a long time writing these decisions, so they're essentially poems. Here we go. Decision number one. I, Grian, willfully give over my soul to Mumbo, so he not pig. Obviously, this is the decision that I would like him to take. I, Grian, will kill Pork Boy to get out of here he will stay as pig lol. This is the decision that I would not like him to take. The thing is, both of these decisions are going to lead to the same outcome. He is going to be dropped through into a killing chamber and I'm going to watch him while laughing. Except if he chooses this one, it will be laughing with like a tiny bit of crying in there. You know, it's a bit like when you fall over and you're in serious pain, but then you laugh to try and cover up how much pain you're in, but everyone can tell what you're doing. That's that's what it's going to be like. The redstone for both of the killing chambers is now all in place. This this is working flawlessly, so then it'll be pushed across into this area here. And that is where he is going to be smashed to death for my entertainment, with his soul being ripped from the very fibres of his being. Peace, love, and plants. This room is really coming together. I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into the look of a room that I'm only going to see once, but I've started now, so I'm continuing. And I have to say, now that it is done, it does look incredibly cool. Like, this is a really awesome place. If I was going to lose my soul anywhere, this is the place that I'd like to do it. Right, a lot of the redstone should now be connected. So that opens that. So I will drop through as Grian drops through so I can watch him die in full view. I don't want to miss a moment. And now all of the redstone for the crusher should be all in place. So this piston will be pushed down and... Yeah, that's going to do some damage. That will definitely smash the soul out of someone. So with that, I think it's safe to call this project all fully completed. Now, I thought it would be interesting to actually ruin the peace treaty room a little bit. Just so I have a reason to lure Grian down here. I've even installed a nice little rhyme that hopefully he will read as he drops down into the killing chamber. It's quite fun being evil, you know? So hopefully he comes back online at some point today. And I can lure him in here and actually convert myself back into being a human. And honestly, I'll feel no guilt about it because I feel like this is him. Green is the sort of person that would take out the middle log of a tree. You know, he deserves to have his soul removed from his body. I actually don't know if I want his trashy floating tree leaving soul. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried to trap Impulse or, or Pearl instead. Scar. What a lovely soul Scar has. I guess I can't be too picky in my current state. Let's move on to rope bridges. Turns out there are a lot of rope bridge scientists who watch my videos, and a lot of them were incredibly vocal in the comment section. All of them were making very similar observations in that my rope bridge is far steeper than a regular rope bridge. Some of them were doing this in a peaceful fashion, some of them were doing it in a very capital letters angry fashion, which was surprising because, well, you're talking about rope bridges. You might be the first person ever to get angry about rope bridges. What was that? I mean, standing on this terrifying steep rope bridge is scary enough without things like that happening. The whole world shook. Did, did Teresa just do a little toot? <laughs> it's, it's Teresa passing gas. This is... <laughs> Oh. Oh, I just understood the name of Parson Gas. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm their most loyal customer. How have I never noticed that before? Right, clearly I'm getting sidetracked here. My rope bridge is far too steep and the world definitely just shook. And that's incredibly terrifying. I've never seen that happen before. This is weird. Also, the big moon is freaking me out. And this area in general is just terrifying. I still can't believe passing gas. So I'm going to come back to the rope bridge problem in a little bit. But first, I want to build a few extra rope bridges. This one to this one seems like a really good area for a rope bridge. And this one is feeling pretty good so far. It does feel a lot more natural than the half pipe that I created down there, I have to say. So now that it's all connected, let's fly off and take a look. <laughs> oh, that's awful. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Okay, it definitely... All right, yeah, we definitely need a little bit more sag in this area here. <laughs> it's like this rope bridge is sponsored by Nike. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? I build a gigantic and detailed statue. Absolutely fine. No issue. No problem there. Try and build a rope bridge. Well, 
I might as well just die. Right, this right here is considerably better. There's still a little bit of a wobble there, but I think that can be sorted out with the fence posts and things. And now that we have the fence posts and things, this is looking like a proper rope bridge. This feels, this feels good. This feels legitimate. It looks so cool. I love, I love this angle here. That is gorgeous. But it's worth remembering that I felt good about the previous rope bridge while I was stood on it. It was only when I flew away that I realized how ridiculous it was. So I guess now it is time for the moment of truth. It looks good so far. The behind the head check, that was successful. And it is still successful. That looks fantastic. I just need to do the dangly fence posts. That is the one thing that this thing needs. Oh my goodness. It's green. This could be my chance. He seems to be punching me a lot. He's punched me off my own rope bridge. All right, now he deserves to die. Time to deploy tactical peace treaty panic. Have you been in the peace treaty room? Like, have you been doing anything over there? The peace treaty? Yeah, remember the treaty? The 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 tree war? It seems like ages ago now, but remember? It is a long time ago. <laughs> it no, really I, haven't, is. I haven't been there since I signed it. Right, well, I don't know what's happened to it. I think we should probably go and check it out. Look. Danger is near. Yeah. In fact, it's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grian. Uh, Look, right. You know, you you signed something yesterday. I don't I don't know if you've noticed anything about me. Okay. Break my trees. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you signed it, but then you didn't go to page twenty. All right. And page twenty is a very important page. Really? Yep. I did that old the trick. I did the old small print trick. Look, are you not proud of me? I'm doing CEO I'm maneuvers. I'm a little bit proud of you. I'm a little bit proud of you. <laughs> How did I not notice it? By signing this, you agree to me harvesting your soul. Yep. In an attempt to become human again. Yes. Why aren't you human? Well, see, you, the thing oh, yeah, is... Because you're a potato. Oh! Yeah, oh! yeah <laughs> see, there's an issue. Okay, because look, I had a bit of a cheat day, okay, and I thought I would try some pork, <laughs> okay? And now, and now I'm here, all right? I've become, I've become pork boy, and that's an issue, right? But... <laughs> The hands make so much sense now. <laughs> yeah, you almost caught me with the gloves. All right, I had to, I had to think real fast on that one the other day. All right, but oh here's my. the thing. Yeah, you look hideous. I do. Is I... the mustache under your nose? Can you turn to the side for me? I think it is under my oh, nose. Yeah, I see. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I know. I know, Grian. I don't... None of this makes any sense. And that—that's why. Uh, that's why you're in right. here. Because... So am I about to die? Well, is that... I yeah I uh. It depends, I guess, because you do have you have two buttons. I'm gonna stand in position, and you know you can, you have a choice. Okay, you you have, have a, a choice. choice. Yep. Okay. Uh, I Grian will kill Pork Boy to get out of here. He will stay as a pig. Lol. I Grian willfully give over my soul to Mumbo so he is not a pig. Um. <laughs> what? Grian? Do you not know what that button yeah. means? Do you? Do... Yeah, I, I I get it. You're fully aware of what that button means and you're still stood there, yeah? I agree and we'll kill Pork Boy to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, unless, unless you're calling my bluff. Unless, I mean, you know me pretty well, so. Uh, am I smart enough for that? That is the question. But wait, what if you anticipated that I would anticipate, that you would anticipate that I would anticipate this? And maybe it's a triple bluff and actually mm -hmm. this is the right one. I mean, whatever happens, I feel like your intentions are clear. You're just trying to get out of here surviving and killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I did to deserve this. You just asked me to rate your trees. Mumbo. Yeah? Do both of these buttons do the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. Not at all, funny. So you still pick that one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo, I have 96 levels. Is oh. this my death chamber? Because this is. How's it? This is, is going to take a long time. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I, just, I obviously didn't test it. Gonna, is this going to be one of those awkward <laughs> things that it's like this feels like this would be quick, but now I'm just going to have to watch you slowly suffer to death? <laughs> This is, this is, this You're is squeezing the soul out of me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a juicer, you know, <laughs> it's like gonna have a, a soul smoothie at the end of this. Wow, oh, I never thought I'd have such Goodbye. a long <laughs> I am no longer pork. I, I managed to squeeze the soul out of green. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, there's a lot of weirdness going on on the Hermitcraft server right now. Am I back to, do it's, I, I mean, I look human I'm to me. I'm missing stuff. 
Oh, are you? Do I do I look like a human again? You look fabulous. Do I? Do I? Wait, do I? Mumbo, do, do, I? Do, do I? Do I have a? Oh, oh wait, wait, hop. do another twelve for me. Oh, oh. Yeah, you look. You look great. You look. You look amazing. Do, do you I? look like ten percent better? Ten percent better, but uh, my uh, my face is. It's exactly the same. My hands are exactly the same. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I'll take that. But can you just confirm? Do I have a soul now? Have I just lost my soul? Um. Honestly, I'm not sure. This is, soul? this is my first time doing this. So I'm not sure what happens <laughs> to your soul, but whatever happens. I mean, I'm back to being a human, so I don't care. Well, that's that was a huge success for the first time in many months on the Hermitcraft server. I'm back to being a human, and boy, oh boy, does it feel good. Right. Let's get these rope bridges in, shall we? This next one is going to span from this area over here, which is essentially on ground level, up to that little platform over there. And I don't know why, but I'm just feeling good about this one. I feel like I'm on the right track. All right, so it went perfectly if the mountain ended here, but it doesn't, it ends here. So I'm going to extend the mountain. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and this, this has worked perfectly. That looks seriously, seriously cool. That looks seriously, seriously cool. In fact, this, this doesn't look so bad anymore. This actually looks quite good. Take that, rope bridge experts. Who's laughing now? Me. I'm laughing because I'm just an all-round jolly, happy guy. Regardless of rope bridges, I'm generally laughing. But th this rope bridge is awesome. This doesn't make me laugh. It doesn't look stupid. It looks great. Who would laugh at this? I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've played a lot of Minecraft over the past couple of days. My, my brain has become a big old sponge. One more rope bridge and it is going to connect up this section of my base to this section of Grian's base. Grian's idea I think is awesome. It will really tie these two together. Literally. I'm getting pretty good at building up these rope bridges. This looks cool. That looks good. I wonder if we actually could do with some more. Maybe another one kind of connecting up to here to here. Maybe just all of Botum could be rope bridges. But all jokes aside, I really like the way that this looks. I actually do feel like there should be maybe one more that connects them just so that we get away from this, this kind of uniformity. If there's another one there, maybe going down like that or going across like this, I think that will massively help that situation. But otherwise, it looks super cool. <laughs> it looks super cool. I, th this, the whole base has transformed so much in today's Hermitcraft episode. The addition of these bridges and the addition of this guy up here I mean, it's been a full transformation. I'm back to being a human. This has literally been the most transformative episode of Hermitcraft I think I've ever made. And on that note, I think it's time to end. I hope that you've enjoyed this Hermitcraft. Waffle?